Alright, so I just finished recording the last episode and I came down here to get started on moving the chests and everything and lo and behold, we've got some slime in this area here. Now, I'm curious to see if they'll drown. I'm not convinced. Actually, here, uh, there's a slime above them. Yeah, I'm not convinced they're going to drown. So... Either we need an alternative form of killing them, or we just need to kill them manually, which, I mean, it gets us XP, which is kind of good. But it's maybe not the most uh, orthodox way of making a farm. Maybe we could have, like, the thing is, we can't really have this be too high, but, oh, it's a big one. I'm guessing this was a big one as well, it's just, yeah, big ones burned up. One lava blade seems to be enough, but we can add another one. Oh, this guy made the jump. Uh, I don't want to jump in there. Right, let's try and punch this guy. Get in there with your breath. Okay, never mind. Looks like we'll get some uh, slime out of this. Yeah, so we're going to have to really consider what we're doing. So clearly one high water is not enough to uh, kill them. We can experiment with two high water, maybe. We might just have to have two high water and then... Have the, the slime balls drop into the uh, into the one high water. Oh yep, there we go, that worked. So yeah, two high water is the way to go. And uh, naturally one high slimes or baby slimes will uh, end up drowning in one high water. Yeah, there we go. And they do drop slime balls even if... Uh, they die to non-combat methods. Alright, well that's uh, that's cool. I'm not I'm not sure if that if we want to go down that route though. My one issue is that it's gonna be or it's not gonna be convenient to you know just walk in here and pick up stuff. We could Oh what could we do? Maybe I'm trying to envisage a way of you know having them drown. And then, but then having the uh, the slime kind of funnel into another area, I don't quite know how we would manage that necessarily. But we got 20 slime, which is uh, a decent return already. Yeah, I'm just not sure, honestly. How are we going to... How are we going to manage this? I guess I'll leave it like that for just now. We can uh, figure things out later. But yeah, welcome to new episode. Let's uh, get on with... Uh, the activities for today. So hold the phone there. I was looking online at tutorials for old slime farms. And I think we might have a solution. Um, we're going to try and create a bit of a drowning trap for these guys. So as you can see they don't drown in one high water. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And they get out. Yes, yeah, so they don't drown in one high water. So we'll have to uh, deal with that, and we're going to do that by creating a kind of a, a filter for small slimes only that will, in the end, drown these guys. First of all, we've got to get rid of them. So I, I did see this on a tutorial. I've modified the design slightly because the slimes weren't drowning on stairs, but instead they were on half slabs, so that's why I've gone for these. Now there's one issue in that if you place water on a slab, there is a space below that we slimes could jump around in. But eventually, if they jump in the right direction, they're going to end up going the right way. They, they can't really jump in this direction, so there's really no issue. Uh, at least not in my eyes. What we're going to do is... We're going to have something up there. We're going to have a block here. There we go. That should... Oh wait, okay, no, that's good, that's good, that is exactly what we wanted. And then we need a one high area here. But then we've got a long way to go. <laughs> we've still got a long way to go before we get over here. The lava blades should still get rid of the big slimes, but then the medium slimes will, as I said, drown on the half slabs. That's the idea anyway. So that's the filter for the wee slimes. Now, they might drown before getting here, but I mean, that's not a huge, huge issue. Um, I'm not sure what we should do next. If we get rid of... Well, actually, we've still got plenty of signs on us. 
So I'm going to add sides here. If they travel too far, then they will definitely drown. The only issue is, if they drown before getting to the stairs, then we're going to lose a lot of stuff, a lot of produce. So to minimise that happening, I might move this back a bit. I've uh, moved it back a bit, moved the area back. Apologise you can't see much, but there's not really much to see. Um, if we add in the wall there... Oh, we need to get out. There's a massive room here that I'll have to fill in, maybe. But the idea is we moved it back to give the slime, the baby slime, more of a chance of getting up here. Getting up to this level before they might potentially drown. And the good thing is they're going to get forced into the centre here. Down here, down to this area, where hopefully we can uh, yeah, set up a bit of an XP area. Got plenty of store on me, so we should be... Uh, good. So I think this is all you need in order to keep the uh, the baby slimes at bay or to hold them in place. I think you just need a an iron bar as we have here and a half slab. So yeah, I think we're we're good to go. Or this is this is ready. Um, not sure if we're gonna need a more mob proof area because I mean let's be honest there's very few mob spawning areas in this room let's add a few stairs here and there not sure if I showed off the new chest system that I've got or the new chest layout these are what the chests look like over here the reason I wasn't able to put chests there before is because the water ladder was in this area but not anymore so we can kind of yeah just leave the chests there and uh, use them as we please uh, we've also got the chest sorted out over here, and I don't, well, we don't have access to trip wire hooks, which is why we can't have chests in these columns as well, so we're just going to have to get by without it. One thing I do want to do is add a bit of a viewing area for the slime separator, which we will just do here. Oh, hello. So far, everything looks rosy. So the slimes got here without drowning. I mean, not that it would have mattered if they hadn't. Alright, yeah, this is where the viewing area will go. We should have actually used glass panes, but I don't think we will, just because it might give slime the chance to hop onto the narrow ledge. Not saying they will, but you never know. Better safe than sorry. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just add a nice, a full glass pane here. Why not? I'm not going to go all the way around to the, you know, the actual spawning pad. I don't think there's much point. Um, I guess we could add a... Uh, there's, ah, nah, we won't bother adding an access door. Actually, yeah, we will. We'll add an access door here. I don't have one on me at the moment, but that's the plan. But I guess we'll just half slab this entire area because we don't want anything else spawning here. Well, actually, we don't want anything spawning in this area. These slabs will be fine, won't they? Alright, there we go. Got the door. Got it all finished. There we go. Cool. So, we got our viewing area. Oh, no! I keep forgetting to bring glowstone down. Uh, I'm going to label the chests, and I'm actually going to move rotten flesh over here for no other reason than all the other mob drops are over here, or most of the major ones, anyway. So, I guess I'll do that. I also filled in the, uh, the other chunk that I dug out, the other test chunk. So that was another big job completed off camera. Just figured out you can act, well, we've, we already know you can sprint upstairs if you go at an angle, but you can sprint upstairs that aren't like full stairs. If it's like uh, one of these, you can easily sprint up it. Anyway, that's not the point. Point is, there we go. So we've got some light there that doesn't seem to go all the way to the spiders, which is good. That's what we want. Uh, I'm going to label the chests as well, just because why not? We can, and, oh, hey! Oh, come on, there might be more. Is there any more? Darn it, we missed it. Yeah, we missed it. No problem, though. We got, uh, we got ourselves only one? Interesting. Well, whatever. There you go. There's the... That's how it goes sometimes. But yeah, we're 
getting a lot of slime finally, which is good. So the second part of this episode will involve uh, beginning a new project. We're going to open a rail tunnel from here to the stronghold. Uh, now the reason we're doing it in the overworld and not the nether is because if we go to the coordinates, the nether equivalent coordinates of the stronghold, we're going to load the chunks with the ghasts frozen in time. I know that's a really lame excuse for not wanting to go and yeah, do all that, but it also gives us a chance to build a rail in the overworld, which I don't normally get to do. Plus, it will give us some much needed resources. So, I'm not sure where I'll build it necessarily. If we take a two there, it's too wide, then another one, and then. Yeah, we'll just do it here, I reckon. So, this is these are the quads. We are at 173 minus 467. And I actually want to open another tunnel to the squid farm, even though the squid farm probably doesn't work. Um, but I'm going to open it that way, actually. We should take the cords of this as well, just in case I make a double journey. So I'm going to go to the places where those tracks are hopefully going to end, and we're potentially going to dig our way back. Now, no doubt the track will be at uh, different Y levels. I'm not sure if I want to build it like in the overworld or force it underground. If we force it underground it obviously means more digging. If we build it in the overworld, I'm not saying it'll scar the landscape, but it's it's just one of these ones that I I don't want a rail track covering absolutely everything. Um so we'll we'll see. Or not cover, covering everything, but you know, I I just don't want it to be shown and possibly detract from the scenery of the uh, the infdev and old alpha terrain. I should say that this grass colour is obviously from, uh, well, this world being an ocean biome in 1.1. So, I, I'm sure I said that a few episodes ago. I'm not sure if I like that or hate it. It's just one of these things we're going to live with. So we're back again at the stronghold. Uh, this is obviously the destination of the first rail track. Sounds like there's a fair amount of mobs nearby. Oh dear, there we go. We never actually lit up any of this uh, stronghold. So I'm just going to go and uh, do some of that now. We should also pick up... Actually, I was going to pick up the mossy, but seeing as I'm probably going to gain a fair amount of stone from digging, I'm not sure I want to do that. Yeah, let's see, look at our Y level. We're at Y43. We need to get all the way up to Y... Um, 70, which obviously isn't a huge, huge deal, but uh, still going to be tedious enough. And we're going to go this way, so I'm, I'm guessing we'll just... Oh, for crying out loud. I'm guessing we'll just stay underground for now, and uh, we'll raise our Y level when we get closer, once we're fully under the ocean. Now, I'm not sure if I'll decorate this necessarily. I'm not sure if um, we'll, yeah, make it look good or if we're just going to go for functionality. I could possibly do something, but I, I don't want to go over the top. So, the destination is 173. Right, so we've got a lot further to go than I suspected. And our Y corner is 4... Six three, which is actually all right. It's only a hundred and something blocks to right, so I mean we could go diagonally, but I mm, it would make sense to go diagonally for a bit. But I think I'm just going to cover the Y. Oh, hello! Don't think I explored this. Let's just light up some of this. I don't have enough torches right enough. But, um, looks like we've got ourselves a library. Oh, hi. Is this like a glitched out library? It could be because I, yeah. Okay, I get it. So the library's here, but because I didn't delete these chunks here, it's only spawned some of the library. And incidentally, there's a chest already here. Let's get rid of that and use some cobblestone as our building blocks here. Just got a few books in it, but I mean that's fairly cool. Fairly cool that we're, we were able to encounter that. Let's just dig through all of these like it's nobody's business. And we've got a bit of a cave here as well. 
And it goes somewhere. Although, as I said, it's probably going to get cut off. Yeah, at most points. Oh, hi. Oh. No damage whatsoever. Yeah, okay, so there's clearly a, a good cave system around here. Which we can explore another time. So, just as we're crossing the zero co uh, coordinate, I am going to conclude the episode there. That's going to draw the episode to an end. Thank you very much for checking it out. Next episode, when you join me, we will be still on our quest to join up the stronghold with the uh, with our alpha base. And uh, hopefully we'll get down to laying the track. I have one or two real projects coming up. And it's important we do them now, because if we wait, I'm going to regret not making it earlier to make travel easier, if that makes sense. And this is just one of them. And we're out of inventory space. Anyway, thank you, and good night.